Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another one. So, we're checking out the VVverse. I was going to... I actually sat here and did a reaction to this entire video. I, I, re, I reacted to the whole video, and I realized it was trash after. So, I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's just do this over. Let's not, up, let's not upload that video and waste anyone's time uploading, you know, my reaction to this video here that VV dropped. Um, I'm just going to instead talk about my opinions and my thoughts after them touring this little these features and stuff like that. So first off, he he showed off that you can go in first person mode, you can go in third person, you can fly. That was that was we already saw that what was that a year plus ago when they this actually showed us the BB verse um, at one of those uh, one of those cons or something like that. Um, ironic, the name of it is a con, but. Anyway, <laughs> now nah, let me stop. I, was, I ain't going to be toxic. But essentially, it's the same features that we saw then. Then they showed us that we can have lights. Then they showed us that you can move your collectibles around and turn them around and put them where you want to put them. And then you can have shapes and you can put the shapes where you want to put them. And then they put emphasis on the fact that you can actually send messages to one another in here. Um, and you can turn on your webcam. So essentially, the software that they um the software that they're using they they just showing you how to use the features that were already there, and they've done a few modifications to things. They've done a few different modifications to things to, I guess, make them look better or 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 add in VV specific things. So essentially, in the last five years, they've managed to make a. Uh, a messaging tool you can get like and i believe that the webcam functionality has already been implemented but if not you can put your webcam on you can communicate and talk and you can they they imported a bunch of vb collectibles that's that's pretty much what they've accomplished when it comes down to the vb verse this entire time so um I don't know about y'all, but I, I, there's so many freaking gaming frameworks that comes with every single one of these features. This really was not impressive to me. This was not impressive to me at all because I just bought Black Ops 6. So as, as a gamer, I'm seeing the games and stuff that's out there. I'm playing the games and stuff that's out there. And also, I still see Kyle Wilson streaming and playing different NFT and and crypto games and stuff like that. And I see what these things can do. And all Vivi has managed to do is upload their collect. Like, think about this. Imagine a YouTube channel that had all the videos made already. Do they, they get the videos from, they get videos and movies and stuff like that from Disney. And all they have to do is upload them. And it takes them five years just to do that. I mean, that that's essentially what's going on here. Like, they got the IPs, they got the collectibles, they already had those made and designed. So when it comes down to what they have actually done for the VVverse, they click the upload button. What did they have to tweak some things here, there? Did they have, have to play around with some settings? Maybe. Maybe. Potentially. Most of them probably just got imported and worked right away. But maybe they had to tweak a few things here. <clears throat> Make the thumbnails look nice, presentable, which that doesn't take too long, by the way. I, I, you know, I do thumbnails, so that's not a huge accomplishment either. But <clears throat> yeah, so they got the comic books in here. Like, basically, you can place things around this room. You can place it anywhere you want it. You can build out shapes and stuff like that. That is what they've accomplished over the last um, over the last few years. I don't know if you all are impressed by this, but the the issue that I have with this and the concern that I have is that this is not something that needed some big reveal. It's not something that needed some big reveal. We've been waiting too long for this. Um, this nothing has been done essentially. We want to see what is going to keep the retention in the retention in the Vverse up because the fact of the matter is, regardless of how many true collectors say that they they just are here for the experience, this is not an experience. We've been seeing showrooms since the second like oh we don't have to use a Delorean wing anymore as a shelf. 
you can actually just add in a shelf. Who gives a shit? I don't care if it's a DeLorean ring. It gets the job done. So essentially, you're using a software that allows you to just import things, and now they don't have to do it the, the creative way anymore. It's still the same end result. Yeah, the textures may look better. Yeah, the actual items and pieces you're using may look a lot better, but it's the same thing that we have seen since VV has released. There's nothing actually different or special about this. The room is bigger. That's it. So this reveal for me was very disappointing. I don't feel like there will be anything worth seeing until we actually see some functionality. What's going to keep people engaged in the V-verse? Because regardless of what you want to say, the only thing that's going to increase the value of the items on VV is people being able to see them and, and do things with them and actually enjoy them. And enjoying them isn't putting them in a room and, and shining lights on them and putting them on top of a cube or something like that. Like, no, that's not... Yeah, I mean, some people will enjoy that stuff, but in a lot of this stuff, I'm pretty sure it's features that just came with the software already. Like, a lot of the stuff that they're doing, a lot of this stuff was already made with the software, and that it already just worked. It worked right out of the box. Most of what's been done is work. What VV has essentially done is hit an upload button. That's the equivalent. That, that's what they've done. And then they've spent a lot of time building out their own showrooms. That's it. They've built out a few different showrooms. And they're making it seem like this is some big deal because they built out a showroom. <clears throat> I want to see one of these collectibles have a mini game associated with it. Something that's going to up the retention time. Can we, you know, we can walk in there and see one another. Woo. Don't care. Like, I don't need, I, I, I talk in Twitter spaces and I don't need to see the people there physically to, to have a conversation with them. I like, we can talk about what collectibles they have in a in a Twitter chat. Like we can we can talk about that stuff all in a space. So now we can visually see it. Oh, it adds an extra dynamic. So what's going to keep people actually in the VB verse is being able to do things. Currently, you can do nothing outside of build a glorified showroom. So Essentially, they waited all this time, did this big reveal just to reveal the fact that they really haven't been doing anything except for, like, at this rate, what, what y'all do? Upload one item a day? Like, what's what's been going on? Like, is that is that has that been the work on the V-verse y'all been talking about? Like, uploading one item a day? Because <clears throat> that makes sense. Like, that, the upload button only being used. And what's crazy is the way that he imported... <clears throat> what is this? Oh, Ready Player One custom avatars. Hold on. Integrate customizable avatars into your game or app in minutes. So you can integrate this in your game or app in minutes. So you, the Ready Player Me, these avatars, the avatars that we're seeing walking around, it literally is marketed and advertised as customizable avatars into your game or app in minutes. This took, uh, uh, you know, this took a tech company, what, years? And I, and to be fair, I don't even know if this was around that long, but at the same time, they're literally promoting it as something that could be done in minutes. Come on now. So the avatar, even the, the, good, the cool looking shirt and stuff like that on this avatar, even that's not that impressive. Ready player me avatar. Oh, that's the avatar. This is probably the avatar that just came with it, by the way. This is this doesn't look like an avatar VV created. This is probably an avatar that just came with the um with the software. And then they allow you to put in an avatar from Ready Player Me. This is what I mean. They've essentially done nothing. <clears throat> They've essentially done nothing this whole time. Everything that's cool. All they did was upload. All they did was upload the um the stuff all they did was upload the, the collectibles that's it so yeah this was disappointing um I, i'm more interested in seeing them actually build something that works and that functions something that actually is going to keep retention high here because if anyone wants to sell their collectibles they want people to enjoy their collectibles you're gonna have to have retention you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be able to promote this and you cannot promote the fact you can you, you people are gonna walk around this room and figure out oh that's all you can do because when GTA shows a trailer and it's panning around the city and all this stuff, 
You can walk around that city. You can drive cars around. You can race. You can make money. You know, you can shoot. You can you can do all types of stuff in GTA when they when they when they tease. But and then GTA. By the way, GTA Six is coming out. When VV is supposed to be releasing this to everyone, they said this is coming early um Q uh, mid, mid Q one. When VV releases this, GTA 6 will be releasing soon after. So they're going to be releasing an insanely huge, big metaverse type world at the same time where VV is releasing a glorified showroom that all you can do is walk around and look at things and place shelves around while, while GTA is out and you can actually have a whole experience with that. Yeah, good luck with the performance of the VV verse. I'm not looking for the VV verse to be some triple A game at all, but at least at least having a mini game. Like if you could take the the mighty Marvel pieces, take the mighty Marvel pieces and play chess with it, play checkers with it, something simple like that, where you can choose a piece and play a mini game with it, and you can gamble and, and bet your Omi tokens. See how quickly. It goes from complete trash and you haven't done nothing at all to now at least there's something interactive and really engaging that we give a shit about. It's simple thing. It's the little things. Use a Marvel piece and play tic-tac-toe. Like these type of mini games and then being able to wager, being able to wager Omi tokens on this type. Very, very simple. This, this is, it's not, it's not hard. It's not hard to create something fun. It's really not. We don't need you to compete with GTA at the point where we can go against each other in simple classical mini games and bet our Omi tokens for it. Have fun with Omi, use Omi, burn Omi while all having fun and not really even, you know, not really even thinking too much about the fact that, oh, we've lost so much money. It's just, it's a fun experience. Right now, you're, you're, you're making the, the focus on making these collectibles look as nice as possible and, and decorated as nice as possible. It's too much focus on that. And anytime anyone sees it, the majority of people just think about how this has been a huge ripoff for them. Give people something else to put on their mind. Play, the ability to play games, the ability to do something and really interact in ways that didn't come freaking default or, or standard in the software that you're currently using. But that's just my opinion. That's just my point of view. Um, that, that's pretty much it. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make this too long. I feel like I just wanted to talk about this and give you all my opinion on it because watching me react, like it might have been funny for some people seeing my reaction to some of this stuff. Y'all know me. It, it, it was going to be some crazy funny reactions, but yeah, it's like I'm not going to bore anybody to that extent, bro. Like that's that was horrible. It, my, the reaction was horrible. So I wanted to just give you all some of my thoughts. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, fam. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.